Mr. Speaker, Canadians are asking why the Prime Minister's friends received over $200,000 in payouts for so-called moving expenses. The reason? The Prime Minister approved it. He could have limited their taxpayer abuse if he wanted to, but he chose not to. When will this Prime Minister stop giving taxpayer money to his Liberal friends? Thank you for the question, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, once again, these policies have been in place since the 1970s. Um, there were costs that both Mr. Butts and Ms. Telford did not feel comfortable with, and they will reimburse those amounts. What is good to know is that our Prime Minister knows that more needs to be done and has asked the Secretary of the Treasury Board to create a new policy to govern relocation expenses. And it's important to know that the, in the previous Prime Minister's office, Prime Minister Stephen Harper's office approved over $300,000 in relocation expenses, included one relocation expense at a cost of $93,131. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A member for Elga and Middlesex, Mr. London. Speaker, here is the bottom line. The Prime Minister signed off on these expenses and wrote his best friend's six-figure checks. And yesterday, Jerry and Katie were willing to take the fall for their best friend, the Prime Minister. And how can Canadians trust this Prime Minister's judgment when their hard-earned money always seems to end up in personalized cash payouts? Thank you for the question, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this government recognizes that more needs to be done, and this government is committed to doing more for Canadians. And we can once again remind Canadians that in the spirit of openness and transparency, they have both disclosed all costs associated with their move. The current rules have been in place since 2008 and were revisited in 2011. Every minister's office has followed those rules since. Let me remind this House that the previous Prime Minister Harper, Stephen Harper's office approved over $300,000 in relocation expenses, including one relocation expense at $93,100.